task constraints. This is a slide number uh, 36. It says a task constraint determines uh, the flexibility avail available in scheduling task. So constraints can be flexible, inflexible, or semi-flexible. Okay. Uh, in here, you have to select the task on the task tab in the properties group. Click on information. So that's what that's how you can can go to essentially constraint. So constraint uh, in here, uh, if you drop down, you get a various option. You have to go to advanced tab. So let's do that parallelly so that you will be. So let's we let's go to a requirement specification draft. Okay, uh, let's say and we go to properties information and from there we go to advanced tab. So you have uh, the name of the task, the requirement specification draft, right? And the constraint type is as soon as possible, finish no earlier than, finish no later than, etc. Yeah. So we'll keep the default one, which is as soon as possible. So the constraints are uh, flexible, as soon as possible, as late as possible. So these are like flexible constraint. Uh, you know that you know as soon as possible is as soon as possible. It is definitely flexible, and that's what it means. And same thing appears to your as late as possible. Semi flexible is start no earlier than, start no later than, finish no earlier than. So you have some date assigned, but uh, there is some buffer uh, before you do that, right? So these are the semi flexible one, and the last two are inflexible. So they are must start on, must finish on. So these two are inflexible. So these are the categories of the constraint of the task. So as soon as uh, possible is the constraint type selected over here. And constraint date can be selected only for auto scheduled task. Please note. Okay. So this cannot be done for uh, the tasks which are not auto scheduled. So the constraint date can be put. Since all of the dates uh, so far we have, they are uh, auto scheduled. We can put the constraint date, yeah, like this. So let's do that. So we can put the constraint date because these are the auto scheduled tasks, right? So let's say as soon as possible. So we are saying. 29. You can say 28 also and you can put it. So you can see that that uh, constraint is appearing over there. This task has a start no earlier than. So this is for everyone's information uh, whoever is you know seeing your uh, project management plan. So now if I want to set a latest time or a date uh, by which the task should be completed and I want it to be a reminder for team members, what could be the significance of constraint date? I think uh, constraint date is something like let's say uh, there is a dependency uh, which is uh, for example is visible to you but uh, is not visible to uh, let's say team member. So, uh, <coughs> for example, uh, I have a constraint that uh, particular deliverable should be available. So, this the, there could be project constraints, there could be dependency constraints, there could be multiple uh, you know types of constraints that we can have. So. Uh, one of the constraints uh, that comes to my mind is, let's say, is customer want uh, some particular deliverable, let's say, uh, the requirement document by so-and-so date. So let's say, I take the example of uh, requirements defined, right? Now this requirement defined has 
a constraint. So let's say uh, I go to advanced tab and constraint type instead of as soon as uh, uh, basically must finish on is what I'll be looking for, right? So in this case, the constraint date could be, let's say, uh, since requirement defined, uh, let's say we have a constraint date of October, uh, in total how many days we are taking? 17 days, right? So constraint type of, let's say, uh, October 31st. So this is a constraint by the customer. So essentially, uh, will be set on the requirement defined continue. Okay, so let's let's take a, a, a simple one for our example and must finish on. So uh, let's take a. Let's see. You can even double click also. So uh, 2110 is, uh, let's say, must finish on 2110. So no constraint will be set on uh, you set a must finish on constraint on the task specification. This could result in scheduling conflict either now or later because this task has at least one other task linked to it. So, so this is the way you are setting the constraint. This task has must finish on constraint on Tuesday because uh, so this is the significance of the constraint Ashutosh. I believe uh, this is one example I can give. Other example could be, uh, let's say uh, you have uh, some dependency on other project. So uh, rather other project have dependency on you and uh, they need to start, you know, they have a constraint uh, to finish it, you know, within their timelines and for that they may uh, give you constraint which uh, since it is external project which will uh, you'll not have the predecessor of that right so in that case you can put a manual constraint saying you know this task has to be finished by so and so 